Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? This is Bryce, bleh. this is Rice Cake for the win here. And as you can see, I'm stuck in wonderful traffic. Yes, yes, yes. And I decided that since the Contour Rome does not have an, a, like a jack for a, a microphone, I have to do voiceover. Thank you, Contour. Anyways, um, like you can see, yes, I'm stuck in traffic, so that makes for a good tutorial how to, this is how you do it in SoCal uh, for dummies, lane splitting, lane filtering video. So I know in some states it's illegal and you guys are appalled at the point I'm going through cars right here and you're in disgust right now. So yeah, especially this part, I'm pulling up to this Accord, which keeps going to the right and they see me and the guy in the Corvette knows. He's like, okay, I'm moving over for you. Thank you, sir. I look over at the Honda Accord driver, which is two girls. Shake, you guys suck. Anyways, um, continuing on, as you can see, I am sticking to the furthest left lane and the lane next to it, which is lanes one and two. With that said, uh, that is the optimal place to split lanes. Reason being is that traffic usually does not exit or not, not a lot of traffic merges or exits in those areas, so most likely, you won't have to deal with you know drivers hopping in and out unlike the far right lanes which is where, usually where the trucks are at and the slower vehicles are at or you know vehicles towing stuff that's where they're usually at so uh, be aware of that and plus you got traffic merging and exiting so perfect place to lane split is lanes one and two unless you have to exit two so just make sure you move over to the right cautiously regardless also as you can see on my speedo, you can't really tell, but it's on the lower end. It's probably around five to 10 miles per hour. Uh, with that, go slow because you need to see what's in front of you and it gives other drivers to react to what you're doing, like lane splitting regardless. So um, it gives you enough time to react. It gives the drivers enough time to react. And if you go slow enough, like I pulled up to that Accord, the Corvette saw me and he ended up moving to the right. If I was going too fast, I would have slammed my brakes and whatever, and it wouldn't end it too good for me. So with that said, also, and look at the cop, he didn't even do anything. Anyways, uh, be patient, you're splitting lanes, the worst, like the more impatient you are, the more likely you're gonna get into an accident. So be patient, just stroll along like what I'm doing right here and you'll be fine. Uh, you're gonna be passing traffic anyway, so if traffic is somehow flowing with you and you're kinda not really passing cars, then just go with the flow of traffic. But if the best time to start splitting lanes is pretty much when traffic's at a stop right here. So with that said, um, be cautious when you split lanes. That is an ugly scion that just passed by. Anyways, uh, yeah, split lanes cautiously, observe your laws, and uh, like I said, best places to split lanes is when traffic is stopped. And the more you experience lane splitting, the more you know wisdom that you get out of it, and you know when and when not to lane split. So don't be stupid. Don't go out there and start revving your engine and being loud and obnoxious. It just gives us more cyclists a bad name. So split lanes wisely guys, keep the rubber side down, ride safe, and put your comments down below. This is my first time doing a voiceover. I don't know how great it's gonna sound or be. I think this is my third or fourth take because I'm not great at it. Oh, <laughs> oh,